Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 2, Practice Problems Review is on representing ratios with diagrams. In Problem 1, here is a diagram that describes the cups of green and white paint in a mixture. Select all the statements that correctly describe the diagram. A. The ratio of cups of white paint to cups of green paint is 2 to 4. Well, we have two cups of white paint and four cups of green paint, so A is true. B, for every cup of green paint, there are two cups of white paint. Well, that would require us to basically divide by four here to get one cup of green. If we divide it by four from the two, it would be two over four, or one half. So for every cup of green paint, there's actually half a cup of white paint, so B is not a solution. C, the ratio of cups of green paint to cups of white paint is 4 to 2. That is true. Green to white is 4 to 2. D, for every cup of white paint, there are two cups of green paint. Well, if I divide by 2 here, I get 1. If I divide by 2 here, I get 2. And so sure enough, one cup of white paint is two cups of green paint, so D is true. And in E, the ratio of cups of green paint to cups of white paint is 2 to 4. So green to white, 2 to 4. That is not true. It's 4 to 2 going that way. Let's go to question 2. To make a snack mix, combine two cups of raisins with four cups of pretzels and six cups of almonds. Create a diagram to represent the quantities of each ingredient in this recipe. Well, remember, our diagrams need words and units. And so, let's start with our raisins. And these will be in cups. We're going to have pretzels. And those are also going to be measured in cups. And lastly, we have almonds. And those will be measured in cups as well. And so for raisins, we're going to have two cups of raisins. So I'm going to have two squares for that. What are about equal size. Pretzels were four cups of pretzels. One, two, three, four cups of pretzels, and six cups of almonds. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so, let's just go in order to complete the sentences now. The ratio of raisins to pretzels to almonds is 2 to 4 to 6. Now, there are blank cups of pretzels for every one cup of raisins. Well, if we look here, if I kind of group these a little bit here, here we have one cup of raisins, one cup of raisins, we have two cups of pretzels, and we have three cups of almonds in each group. So what that enables us to do now for every one cup of raisins, how many cups of pretzels are there? Well, two. There are two cups of pretzels for every one cup of raisin. And there are three cups of almonds for every one cup of raisins. Make sure when you're making your diagrams that you're using words and units to help explain what it is that you're drawing. Let's go to question three. 
a square is 3 inches by 3 inches. What is its area? Well, 3 times 3 will get me 9 square inches. A square has a side length of 5 feet. What is its area? Well, 5 times 5 will get me 25 square feet. And lastly, the area of a square is 36 centimeters. What is the length of each side of the square? Well, something times something is going to be 36, and that something has to be the same number. And so 6 times 6 is equal to 36 square centimeters. And so our solution here is 6 centimeters. Question 4. Find the area of this quadrilateral. Explain or show your strategy. Well, I am going to break this quadrilateral down into two different shapes. I'm going to have, first off, a triangle up here. I have an upper triangle, and I will have a lower triangle. And by finding the area of both those triangles, I can add them together to get the area of the quadrilateral. Well, let's start with the top triangle. If I look here at my base, it's a length of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then my height comes up at the vertex here at a right angle. The height is 1, 2, 3. And areas for triangle can be found by taking the base times the height and dividing by 2. And so I will take 6 times 3 divided by 2, which will be 18 divided by 2, or 9 square units. Now for my green triangle, my base is still going to be 6 here. My height this time though, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so area still for that triangle is base times height divided by 2, which results in 6 times 5 divided by 2. 6 times 5 is 30. And when we divide that by 2, we get 15. And so if we take our 9 from the top triangle and add it to the 15 from the bottom triangle, we get an area of 24 square units as our solution for that quadrilateral. Lastly, question 5. Complete each equation with a number that makes it true. 1 eighth times 8 equals, well, 1. 3 eighths times 8, well, it's 24 over 8 which is just 3. 1 eighth times 7 is 7 eighths. And 3 eighths times 7 is 21 eighths. Now, if you wanted to convert that into a mixed number, you could do so and call it 2 and 5 eighths as well. And the decimal forms work as well, but might as well just keep it fractions here. That is it for this grade 6, unit 2, lesson 2, Practice Problems Review on Representing Ratios with Diagrams. Good luck.